Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today I'm going to be showing you how to test your solar panels to make sure that they're operating correctly. We're going to be checking the VOC, which is going to be your open circuit voltage and that's the volts coming out in direct sun. Then we're also going to be checking your operating current, which is IMP, and that's going to be the amps that your solar panel is supposed to be putting out in direct sun. This is a very simple process. You only need three things to do this. You need your solar panel, a multimeter that's capable of reading voltage and amps, and also some sun. Uh, the more direct, the better. So right in the middle of the day is the best time to do this test. So this is a very simple video. I'm going to go over this real quick, and it's real easy to figure this out. So let's jump out there and give it a test. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just make sure that your solar panel is nice and clean, completely free of dust and debris. Next, on the back here, you're going to look for a little sticker, and that's going to have all of your important information on how to test, including your open circuit voltage, VOC, which is going to have your volts. 21.6 is what we have right here. And so that's what we're going to test first is the voltage. So make sure you locate your VOC or open circuit voltage and uh, take note of that number, write it down or whatever. Just make sure you remember that. The second important number is going to be the operating current, IMP, which is going to be the amps that the solar panel is putting out in direct sun. We have 5.81 amps. We'll check that second. On your multimeter, we're going to go ahead and make sure it's configured for voltage. And then mine has an automatic voltage setting, but you're going to want to set yours to anything above the voltage that was on the back of the panel. So we had 21 volts. Make sure it's set to something above 21 volts. So 100, whatever you got to do. Next, we're going to go ahead and connect to my multimeter. I had a little plug here, so I just kind of had to put them in there until they were touching both the positive and negative connections. Maybe you'll have wires or you can use clips. Whatever you have to do to make sure that your multimeter is connected to that connection. And now you can see on my voltmeter set for volts, we are at 21 volts even. Since our uh, VOC is supposed to be 21.6, we know it's working perfectly. 21, 21 is very close. Now we're going to move that red terminal over to check amps. So we're going to move to the amp side. And then you're going to set it to anything above 5 amps. Mine is set to 10 amps. So that's going to work just fine. Now we're going to hook it back up again. And you can see we're getting 5.09 amps. And we're supposed to be getting in full sun 5.81 amps. So we're really close on that too. It was kind of a hazy day. So that's going to be more than close enough. And now we know our solar panel is working correctly. All right, so there you go. That's a pretty simple test to figure out whether or not you have a working solar panel. And once you figured that out, you can move on to either installing it or if you're troubleshooting a problem, you know that your panel is producing the right amount of power based off of those two measurements. You're going to be good to go. If you need a voltmeter, I'll put a link in the description below to the one that I used. It's uh, been working fine for me and it's very affordable. So I'll put a link to that just in case you want to pick one up. They're super handy to have for just about anything. And also in the description below, I will try and write all this stuff out in case you didn't understand the way I said it or I said it too fast. It will be written down below. Uh, below that link for the multimeter in case you need to pick one up. That about wraps it up. Pretty simple test. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club, and if you have any uh, questions or comments, please write them down below, and I will try and answer those for you. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, all that stuff's really going to help me out. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching, and happy camping.